What are the different types of pathologist and subspecialties? The majority of people, as well as most physicians, do not realize how broad of a field pathology is. This gives pathologists a huge choice on how they want to practice. According to a report from the American Society for Clinical Pathology, ASCP, over 90% of pathology residents plan on attending at least one fellowship, while over 40% plan on attending two or more fellowship programs. Currently, there are 11 subspecialties that offer board certification, and even more non-board certified fellowships are available. According to the American Board of Pathology, the subspecialties that have board certifications available are blood banking and transfusion medicine, one year in length, clinical chemical pathology, one to two years in length, clinical informatics, typically two years in length, cytopathology, one year in length, dermatopathology, one to two years in length, forensic pathology, one year in length, hematopathology, one to two years in length, medical microbiology, one year in length, molecular genetic pathology, one year in length, neuropathology, two years in length, pediatric pathology, one year in length. In addition, there are many other fellowships available that currently do not offer board certification. Some, such as GI fellowship trained pathologists, are in high demand, while other fellowship programs are less in demand. These include, but may not be limited to, breast pathology, one year in duration, bone and soft tissue pathology, one year in duration, cardiac cardiothoracic pathology, one to two years in duration, gastrointestinal liver pathology, one year in duration, genital urinary pathology, one year in duration, gynecologic pathology, one year in duration, head and neck pathology, one year in duration, medical microbiology, one year in length, ophthalmic pathology, one to two years in duration, medical renal pathology, one year in duration, and surgical selective pathology, one year in duration.